Hello everyone, uh, today I'm going to be my doing my 31 on 23, I know I said I was going to be 21, then it would change to 22, then it changed to 23, so now it's a 31 on 23. Oh my god, I have one next week as well, why do I? Oh my god, I do have my big three, Tarantino, Fincher and Nolan. But anyway, I have my 31 on 23 animation movies. Um, so, the franchises I've chosen, well, there's more, well, there's like, uh, what's the word? There's like standalone movies in this as well, but we have Despicable Me, like the whole franchise, including Minions, uh, Madagascar, Toy Story, the Lego movies, SpongeBob SquarePants movies, the Hotel Transylvania movies, the Monsters movie, like Monster Inc. and Monsters University, Soul, Abominable, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, Inside Out, and How to Train Your Dragon, the franchise. Whew. Without further ado, let's get started. Number 31 is Minions. Minions is a movie I... But Minions is just a movie... I didn't enjoy. Yep. It's just a movie I didn't have fun with when I first uh, watched it. Um, yeah, it's just a movie I regret, 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 regret watching, just because it was a bit, well, it's boring, in my opinion, it was boring, uh, it was just not a movie I was very, that I lo lo liked, what the hell was that a bunny I like to get out, but it's just a movie I just didn't really enjoy, as what I was expecting, uh, but yeah, just not my favourite movie. And number 30 is Madagascar 3, Europe's Row, most, 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 most wanted. Uh, this movie, it's not my thing, just a movie I, I regretted, um, a movie I didn't have fun with. Yeah, it's just a movie I didn't enjoy, as what I wanted, for Madagascar 3, because the other two, they're, they're fine. I know, they're, they're, they're way better, but. This, the third one just really disappointed me. Um, but yeah, Madagascar 3 is just a movie I didn't really have fun with as what I was wanting with this movie. Um, but yeah, just not a really fantastic movie that I enjoyed. Uh, movie I regret. Um, the only good thing was probably the villain. I enjoyed the villain. The villain was fine. The rest of the, rest of the movie, I mean... There was some humour, which was meh. Uh, 29 is Hotel Transylvania. Uh, Hotel Transylvania is a movie... Fine. It was fine. Um, yeah, this is not my favourite Hotel Transylvania movie. But it was fine. It's not a bad movie. It's a fine enough movie that I found fine. Um, it's a movie... I would not re-watch. It's just a movie. I mean, I'll re-watch it if I was in the mood to re-watch it, but... Uh, Hotel Transfany is just a movie. It's just a kid slap movie that is not my kind of movie to watch, in my opinion. It's just a movie really disappointed by. Um, but yeah, it's just a movie I was very disappointed by to see where it was where to go. Um, but yeah, Hotel Transylvania, meh. 28 is Hotel Transylvania 3. Um, meh. I think there is a fourth one coming this year, hopefully. Oh, no, 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 no. Not hopefully. Um, but yeah. But Hotel Transylvania 3 is a movie I was looking forward to. And the trailer was fine. But the movie overall was just a ball of mess. Like, they did this stupid joke. Like, when Dracula farted and I was like, Was that you? What the f- <laughs> Just shut the fuck up. This movie's just absolutely not good a movie. Uh, I regret this movie. Yeah. The only- There wasn't really good things about this movie. I mean, it was a little bit entertaining. But it was just not a good movie overall. It's a movie I would not rewatch. Just a movie I would probably put on if I had to look after this little kid. Uh, yeah, that's about it. 
Number 27 is Penguins of Madagascar. Um, it's not a movie I like. Yeah, it's not a movie I do like. Um, it's a movie I would say I would agree. Um, I didn't enjoy this movie one bit. But it's just a movie that some people might love it, some people might not. It's just a diverse opinion for people. But for me, it's a movie I regret. Uh, it's not, it's not a, my favourite movie of all time. Even though, yeah, it's never going to be my favourite movie of all time. It's not my favourite animation of all time. But overall, it's just a fun... No, it's not really fun. It's just a boring... No, it's boring. It's just not a movie I would watch again. That's a great word. No, it's not. But, yeah, it's just a movie I would not really watch. Movie I regret. But, yeah, just a movie I regret. Uh, number 26 is the Spongebob Squarepants movie, the 2004. Wait, was it? It's 2004. Uh, this movie, I thought it was fine. Um, just a movie. Yeah, it was fine. Uh, it's not a bad movie. Just an okay movie that I found fine. Uh, but yeah, it's just a movie. Well, it's fine. Not bad. Just a fine enough movie. But yeah, the Spongebob Squarepants movie is fine. Number 25 is the Spongebob movie Sponge Out of... Wait, on... Sponge Out of Water. Um, the animation was fine. Uh, when they go out of water, that was fine animation. The casting was good. The entertainment was fine. Uh, it's not a movie I'll really watch. Just a movie. I'll probably put on for like... Little kids, like what I said with Hotel Transylvania 3, uh, but just some of the I, meh. And number 24 is Hotel Transylvania 2. Uh, this movie is a movie I read. Um, yeah, this is my favorite Hotel Transylvania movie. It's a fine enough movie, it's not a bad movie, just fine. Um, the only there, there, there were some good things about it. Uh, how Jack was trying to teach Dennis how to fly. Like, to turn into, like, a bear. Yeah, that, that was good enough plot. Well, not... It's not really a plot, but... It was a fine enough thing for the movie. But it's just a fine enough movie that it was fine. And number 23 is Despicable Me 3. Um, it's a movie I... It was fine. Um, Despicable Me 3 is a movie I would not rewatch. Really well, no, I'll rewatch it. I'll, yeah, I would rewatch it. It's just a movie I would not potentially like. It's an okay movie, fine. It's it's fine. It's an okay movie. But Despicable Me movie, the Despicable Me 3, is where Gru meets his brother Drew. What's his name? Drew? I don't remember. I haven't seen this movie in ages. Um, yeah, it was fine. It's not a bad movie. Uh, Bowser's Art Brett is his name. Yeah, he was a fine enough villain. You know, it was just a fine enough movie. <laughs> Number 22 is Madagascar Escape to Africa. or well, Madagascar 2. Uh, this movie, I do enjoy. Um, it's a movie I thought was fine. It's a fine enough movie that I enjoy. It's not a bad movie. Just a fine enough movie that I enjoy. Um, it's a movie I, f I didn't fell in love with it. <laughs> it was just a movie I... You know, uh, there's some good and some bad about this movie, but overall it's a good movie. Uh, number 21 is the Lego Ninjago movie. Now, people might hate this movie, or well, not hate this movie, but like get disappointed by this movie, but for me, I enjoyed this movie. It was fine. I mean, I have it on DVD somewhere. Oh. Yeah, I have it on DVD. It's a fine enough movie. It's not... <laughs> A bad movie that I would say, oh yeah, that's a bad movie. I would not recommend this movie to people. It's just bad and terrible and not a good movie. I, I, think I would recommend this movie. Uh, well, it depends if people like this movie or not. Uh, but yeah, it's just a fine enough movie. Not bad, not good. Well, no, it is. It's, it's good. Uh, but it's just a fine enough movie. That was fine. Uh, Dave Franco is... What was his name? Leo? Is his name? The Green... I was about to say Green Ninja Turtle. The 
green, the green, the green and jugger person. I don't know. Um, who else was in this cast? Um, Justin Thorlocks, Fred Esmon, Abby Jamson, Olivia Munn, Kamal Nanjiani, Michael Pena, Zach Woods, Jackie, and Jackie Chan. It was a good cast, but it was just a fun enough movie. A twenty is Monsters University. Uh, Monsters University is a movie I enjoyed. Uh, it's not a bad movie. It's a movie I do enjoy. Uh, it's just a fun enough movie that I enjoy. It's not a bad movie. Just a movie I enjoy. But Madagascar, th uh, I was about to say Madagascar 3. Monsters University is a movie I really do enjoy. Uh, these movies are movies I do really enjoy. Uh, but this movie it was a good movie. Uh, Medica Why don't you put Madagascar? Monsters University is just a movie I fell in love with. Number 19 is Despicable Me 2. Uh, this is not my favourite Despicable Me Despicable Me movie, but it was really good. Uh, I also do have this movie on DVD. As you can see, Despicable Me too. Um, but yeah, it's a movie I do enjoy. Uh, it's not a bad movie. Just a movie I found okay. Uh, it's not a bad movie at all. Just a movie I found fine. Uh, but Despicable Me too. I love the new introducing, introducing of Lucy. I, Kristen Wiig's character was fun. Uh, no, I mean, I do enjoy her character in this movie. It was a fun enough movie that I do enjoy. Uh, it's not a bad movie. It's just a movie I I found fine. Uh, but Despicable Me 2 is a movie. Yeah, I recommend this movie to people because it's just a movie that was enjoyable. Number 18 is Abominable. Uh, Abominable is a movie I was really surprised by. I had no idea that it would actually going to be this good, but it was. I really did enjoy Abominable. It was a movie I would recommend people to watch because it's just a fun, entertaining movie that was really entertaining and just really, yeah, it was really entertaining. Uh, I really liked the story, the animation, the soundtrack, the direction, but like everything was really good with this movie. Uh, who drew, uh, Dreamworks did a really good job with this movie, I cannot lie. Uh, came out 2019, I think it was. Fine enough movie. I would recommend this movie to people because it's just a fine enough, enjoyable movie. It's not a movie that I hate. It's a movie that I enjoy. But Abominable is a movie I would recommend. Uh, just because it's a fine, entertaining movie that I do enjoy. Uh, but it's just a fine, entertaining movie that I do enjoy. Number 17 is The Lego Movie 2, The Second Part. Now, I do enjoy this movie. Uh, it's not, it's nowhere near uh, the Lego. It's not nowhere near my favorite of the Lego movies, but it was a decent enough movie. I do enjoy it. Uh, the Lego Movie Two. The second part is a movie I found fine. It's not a bad movie. Not a good. Well, it is a good movie, uh, but it's just a fine enough movie that I do enjoy. I did have fun with it. Uh, it was not a bad movie that I hate and go, I hate this movie, I'm never going to see this movie again. It was a fine enough movie. Uh, I do enjoy it. It was just a fine enough movie, the Lego movie too. The second part is a movie I would give it a fine enough score. Because it's a fine movie. It's not a bad movie, it's just a fine movie. Uh, I would recommend this movie. I would recommend it. And number 16 is the Spongebob movie, Sponge on the Run. Uh, yes, this is where the Spongebob movie, Sponge on the Run, lands. It's a fine enough movie. I do enjoy this movie. It came out last year. We, well, we were lucky enough to see it last year. And I do enjoy it, but America and like other countries got have to see it this year. But we got to see it in November last year, which I was really excited to buy. Uh, but this Spongebob movie, Sponge on the Run, is just a really, really entertaining movie that I highly, highly recommend you watch. It's just a beautiful animation movie. Uh, that I do enjoy. Keanu Reeves in the movie was, he was good in it. And the animation was really good, except uh, the Sandy, she looked blooming. She looked like an actual squirrel. She wasn't good. Uh, but it's just a fine enough movie that I enjoy. It's not a bad movie that I hate. Uh, but yeah, I would recommend this movie to people because it's just a fine enough movie that I do enjoy. 
and I would recommend this movie. And number 15, what well, top 15? Number 15 is The Lego Movie. The Lego Movie is a movie I do enjoy. Uh, it was, this movie was doing very, very well in the box office, I have to say. But it was a fantastic movie. Uh, well, not fantastic, but like, it was an entertaining movie that I do enjoy. Uh, but I, yeah, I do enjoy this movie. It's a good enough movie that I do enjoy. I would recommend this movie to people just because it's a fun enough movie. It's not a bad movie, just a fun enough movie that I would highly recommend to watch. Just because it's a fun, entertaining movie that I love. Well, I won't. Yeah, I would love. Yeah, I would say that I love the Lego movie. It's not a bad movie, just a movie I would rewatch. Uh, it's a fine enough movie that I enjoyed. Uh, but yeah, I just really did enjoy this movie. It's a fine enough movie that I do enjoy. I would, hi yeah, I would recommend this movie because it's a fine enough movie that I do enjoy. Uh, but yeah, it's just a movie I would highly recommend to watch. Number 14 is How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World. Uh, this movie is a movie I do enjoy. It's not a bad movie. It's a movie I do enjoy. Uh, I do have some flaws with How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World. Um, I won't go into them, but I do have flaws for this movie. Um, but it's a fun enough movie that I enjoyed. Um, it's a fun enough movie. Do I love it? I would say it was it's so close of loving, but I would say it's a really good movie. It's not a movie I absolutely love. It's just a movie I really, uh, really do like. Um, I love the ending to this movie. The ending was really good. Um, uh, but yeah, How to Train Dragon the Hidden World is a movie I would recommend you watch. Because it's just, it's, a, it's an entertaining movie that I do really, really enjoy. And uh, number 13 is Inside Out. Yes, it's higher than How to Train, Dra hey, How to Train Dragon the Hidden World. Yes, Inside Out. Uh, it's basically this girl called Riley. And it's basically these, uh, feelings... In her head, we've got anger, uh, we've got joy, disgust, fear, and sadness. Um, but this movie, it was very, it did uh, get you right in your heart. Um, I don't know why, but it was when Riley was leaving his, uh, her parents. And that kind of made me a bit sad inside. Um... It was a bit sad, but um, Inside Out is a movie I highly recommend you watch. It could, literally has every emotion. It gets some good, bad, sad, disgust, anger. It's perfect. And number 12 is How to Train Your Dragon. This movie I absolutely had a blast with. Um, like I said with my DreamWorks ranking, I haven't watched the How to Train Your Dragon movies. Um... But yeah, How to Train Your Dragon is a movie I do enjoy. It's a movie I, yeah, I do enjoy. It's not a bad movie. It's a movie I do enjoy. Uh, I really do like this. I really do like this movie, just because of how fun and entertaining this movie is. Um, it was really entertaining. I was really surprised by how actually entertaining How to Train Your Dragon is, but it was really entertaining, and I do enjoy How to Train Your Dragon. Number eleven is Despicable Me. A Despicable Me is a movie I really do enjoy. Uh, it's a really entertaining movie that I really highly recommend you watch. Just because of how fun and entertaining this movie is. Uh, we've got the new character of Gro, who is like an evil, good guy. Uh, well, at the start, he, well, he was good. But then when he met the, uh, Lucy in the sequel, he started to be good. <laughs> what? Yeah, in the first one, he was good. Uh, but this movie was just a really good movie. Number 10 is Madagascar. Uh, Madagascar is a movie I do enjoy. Uh, it's a movie I would recommend you watch. And it's a movie... It's a movie I would recommend. Uh, it's a movie I would... De yeah, I would definitely recommend this movie. And uh, number 9 is How to Train Your Dragon 2. How to Train Your Dragon 2 is a movie I highly recommend. Just because of how enjoying this movie is. How surprising this movie could actually get. But just an enjoying movie that I highly, 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 highly recommend. How to Train Your Dragon 2 is my favourite. How to Train How to Train Your Dragon movie. Um, it's really enjoying. 
I do enjoy this movie, but How to Train Dragon 2 is a really enjoying movie. And number 8 is Monsters, Inc. Monsters, Inc. is a movie I really do enjoy. Uh, there's no flaws for this movie, surprisingly. It's just a really enjoying movie that I absolutely just had a blast with. Like, if people don't have a blast with Monsters, Inc. or don't like Monsters, Inc. Um, well, that's your opinion. But also, I, I would love people to go straight deep into why. Because... This movie is fantastic. I absolutely love Monsters, Inc. Just because of how amazing, like, duo of Solly and Mike are just a fantastic movie. Number seven is the Lego Batman movie. Uh, yes, it's my favourite uh, Lego movie. Uh, it's a really enjoying movie that I do enjoy. Uh, the Lego Batman movie is, hands down, one of my favourite Lego movies ever created. It's just a fantastic movie that I absolutely had a blast with. Uh, it's one of my favourites. Of course it is, it's fantastic. Um, but it's just a fantastic movie that I highly, 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 highly recommend. Number six is Soul. Uh, Soul is, sadly didn't make it into my top five, but it was close. Uh, Soul is a movie I highly, highly recommend you watch because it's just a fantastic movie. Uh, Tina Fey and Jamie Foxx's performance in this mo performances in this movie, probably one of the best well, not one of the best, but, like, probably in my top ten favourite performances of um, Pixar movies. Like, they were really good in this movie. And I really do enjoy this movie. Number five, okay. I know my Pixar ranking how I have. Wait, do I? Well, no, I don't. Number five is Toy Story 2. I love Toy Story 2. Uh, yeah, yes, all the Toy Story movies are in my top five, okay? Yeah, don't hurt me. Uh, but Toy Story is a fantastic... Well, sorry, Toy Story 2 is a fantastic movie that I... Absolutely, just had a blast with, I do not hate this movie, it's just a fantastic movie, I love the villain of Al, is that her name, Al, uh, who works, uh, Al's chicken butt, what is that, no, Al's, I already, god damn it, I already forgot the place, uh, then we've got new characters like Bullseye and Jesse, then that cross-spected, I already forgot his name, uh, but, really good movie, I highly, highly recommend Toy Story 2. Fantastic. Well, I actually highly recommend the whole franchise, all four of them. But Toy Story 2 is a fantastic movie that I highly recommend you watch because it's just a fantastic movie that I love. Number four is Toy Story 4. Uh, Toy Story 4 is a movie I would recommend you watch just because of how amazing this movie is. I was really surprised by how good this movie was, uh, but it's a fantastic movie. Toy Story 4. Uh, I thought Toy Story 3 was going to uh, be a perfect ending, but Toy Story 4 was actually surprisingly a really good ending to the franchise well i don't know no there's not gonna be a fifth one but it was a really good movie that i highly highly recommend uh, you watch just because it's a fantastic movie number three is toy story 3 toy story 3 is a movie i absolutely had a blast with uh one of my favorite uh animation movies of all time that's probably yeah, it is in my top 10 uh the whole the whole toy story franchise is in my top 10 favorite uh animation movies of all time but Toy Story 3 is a movie I absolutely just bought out at the end of and just a fantastic movie that I highly recommend. Uh, but yeah, just a fantastic movie that I highly recommend you watch just because of how fantastic and good this movie is. Number two is Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Yes, Spider-Man has beat Toy Story 3, Toy Story 4, and Toy Story 2. Uh, I'm a massive fan of Spider-Man. I've always have been a massive fan of Spider-Man. Spider-Man has been in my life, well, most of my life. Uh, and Tobey Maguire, if you're wondering, Tobey Maguire is my Spider-Man, because uh, he's, he's just been in my childhood, well, most of my life, uh, my favourite Spider-Man movie is Spider-Man 2, but anyway, Spider-Man and Spider-Verse is a fantastic movie, and I highly, highly, highly recommend you watch Spider-Man Into the, Sp uh, Spider Into the Spider-Verse, uh, we've got, because I've never really known who Miles Morales is, because I've never really known who he is, but in this movie, we actually got to go deep into who he is and why he's here. Well, why he's here, because his parents wanted to remember. Yeah, like that. Uh, but it's a fantastic movie that I highly recommend. And number one. Number one. Ooh. Uh, one of my favourite... Well, it is actually my favourite animation of all time. Uh, it's a fantastic movie that I highly recommend. Number one is... Toy Story. Toy Story is a fantastic movie that I highly recommend you watch. It's been in my life, all, well, most of my, all, yeah, it's been in my, all of my life. It's a fantastic movie. Uh, Woody, Woody Allen, 
what the uh, Tim Allen and uh, Tom Hanks, fantastic job with this movie. They did a, f a phenomenal job. And same with like uh, Reeks, Slinky, uh, Mr. Potato Head, and Miss Bo Peep. They're fantastic characters in this movie. I really do enjoy the villain of Sid. I think Sid's a fine enough villain. Uh, but Toy Story is a movie I really just had a blast with. Just a fantastic movie that I absolutely just had a blast with. And there you go, there's my 31 on 23 animation movies. Uh, yeah, so thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll do my... Uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Take care. Push.